Drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to Chapter 3, Season 3. Here is everything we know about Chapter 3, Season 3. And believe it or not, there is a ton of stuff we know already. Starting with the Season 2 ending live event. Before we talk about everything we know about Season 3, we've got to talk about the ending event for this season. This season has been all about the war between the might of the Imagined Order and the ingenuity of the Seven. We've been running so many jobs, helping the Imagined, the Origin and Agent Jones to the point where the Resistance can now win this fight. First, the blimp occupying the Daily Bugle was grounded by the Uprising, crashing miles away in the ocean. Then, the second blimp over Condo Canyon had the same fate, once again somehow finding water. This will continue to every blimp around the map, all the way up to the end of the season until we reach the final last blimp, the one at Command Cavern, the Imagine Order's headquarters. And this is where the live event will commence. We recently found out through John Jones that the Imagined Order have a dedicated team to creating Doomsday devices and they currently have one in the works being built. My guess is that the Imagine Order have this Doomsday division making Doomsday devices for each reality that they visit that they want to destroy as quick as possible. And this will be the Imagine Order's last resort as we push them back. But we've got a plan up our sleeves. In preparation for this live event, soon we'll be planting a ton of bombs around a lot of the Imagine Order's outposts. I've got a sneaky feeling that this is what the Imagine Order want. Just like how Dr. Sloan was tricked into blowing up the UFO, that's what the Cube Queen wanted so she could spread all the cubes across the map and cause corruption. What if we're falling into the trap of what Dr. Sloan and the Imagine Order want us to do? We're gonna have to wait and see. Now on to everything we know about Chapter 3, Season 3, and there's a lot of it. But before we do, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Fortnite Tracker. This is an in-game, real-time solution to track all your stats, whether it's per game, the last seven days, or even over your lifetime. How cool is this? You can join a match and straight away see all the live stats of your teammates, their kills, their wins, and a ton more. You can even view your match history here and see what guns you work best with. Yeah, my stats aren't looking too good. Make sure to check out Fortnite Tracker. It's simple and easy to download. Click the link in the description to download the Fortnite Tracker app for free today. Chapter 3, Season 3, and we start off with collabs. As we know, Fortnite, they're not shy with doing collabs. We've seen some of the biggest movie titles and studios want to work with Epic, but next season, Season 3, we're expecting some of the biggest collabs we've ever seen, starting with Indiana Jones. Chapter 3 came around, and a lot of people noticed something strange going on just outside Condo Canyon, a weird fridge sitting in the middle of the desert. A lot of people wouldn't even think twice to look at this, but people with a Keen Eye saw it as a huge hint, Indiana Jones. You're probably confused as to how this is a hint, but in the movie The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones ends up finding himself on a nuke test plant site. And to survive, where does he end up hiding? in a fridge. Epic have been working on this collab for a while now, and Tabor Hill, who has an inside source at Epic Games, recently confirmed that this collab is coming to Season 3. I mean, heck, Fortnite even leaked it themselves in the recent Epic Games conference. But that's not the only collab we're going to be seeing in Season 3. Both Darth Vader, Doom, and Family Guy was also leaked, and are expected to make it here in Fortnite next season. Donald Mustard has been giving us a ton of hints that a new Star Wars collab is on the way recently and it turns out Darth Vader will be his own boss next season on the map which also confirms the return of lightsabers. Fortnite have worked very closely with Star Wars in the past with a ton of skin collabs, points of interest and even having a live event but one thing everyone has missed is lightsabers. Recently it's been leaked in the files that lightsabers will be returning in Fortnite and with Darth Vader confirmed to be a boss on the map next season they are 100% coming back. These mythical weapons were found all over the map in crates of six and if you was lucky enough to get your hands on them they ended up being very overpowered especially now with the new sprinting and mantling mechanics now in fortnite it's gonna be crazy but with darth vader being a boss on the map next season it's been confirmed that he's gonna have his own point of interest just like in season five with the mandalorian collab in fortnite he had his fallen ship and then later on in the season we had the cantina located just outside hunter's haven but it wasn't a dedicated star wars season and and neither will next season. Darth Vader will end up, like I said, having his own point of interest that he'll roam. This isn't going to 
be a Star Wars themed season like Chapter 2 Season 4 was with Marvel. The expected point of interest for this collab or where it would make sense would be the dormant volcano and the removal of the Daily Bugle. I'm pretty sure we're all pretty surprised that the Daily Bugle is still on the map after the Spider-Man collab in Fortnite finished. It would be the perfect time for it to go and to turn into a Star Wars point of interest. The suggestion going around right now is that the Daily Bugle will turn into Darth Vader's castle with the building situated on the side of the mountain just like in the movie. And this would be awesome. Imagine if the Darth Vader skin was a progressive outfit as well. Going from Anakin in Clone Wars all the way up to Vader. Epic, if you're listening, please do this. Donald Mustard has also teased that there could be a release of C-3PO as well as Chewbacca. Chapter 3, Season 3 Music Live Event. Rumours are circulating the community right now that there will be a music collab live event in Season 3. Similar to the Travis Scott, Ariana Grande and Marshmello concerts that we've had in the past. These events gathered some of Fortnite's biggest ever numbers, so there will definitely be another one here in the future. Before these music events happen, posters and flyers could be seen added around the map to create hype around the community, and for Season 3, the first rumour is that it's going to be a Billie Eilish concert. The reason for this is that Donald Mustard has been tweeting non-stop about Billie Eilish over the recent few months. It's fair to say, Donald Mustard's tweets can't be overlooked as they always have a meaning or a hint towards the future of Fortnite. It could also mean nothing, but Billie Eilish would be awesome. If you thought the Billie Eilish live event would be cool, then the next rumour will blow your mind. And that is a Juice World concert in Season 3. This all comes after a video emerged online that Juice World's manager had been in conversation with people over at Epic Games to get a Juice World skin as well as a live event concert in the works. As crazy as this is, Epic Games are always trying to improve on the last previous events. People want a Juice World concert concert that much that it even goes as far as fan-made concepts being made, like live event rewards just like this. It actually works out that we have a Fortnite music live event every five seasons, and guess what? The last Ariana Grande music live event would be five seasons ago in season three. What to expect in Season 3? Things like the battle pass and what's inside don't really change from season to season, and with Season 3 starting on June the 4th, there's a lot of time for development and changes to the map. Right now, crashed blimps are like the main change that are going on, but come Season 3, it might be a whole lot different. The end of the season is ending with an outright war, realistically with the Imagine Order winning and using their last resort plan of either the Doomsday Device or the Devourer. This will create a chain of map changing events and throughout season 3 expect the map to kind of look like an aftermath of a war. New points of interest are guaranteed each season and I'm hoping for a ton more storyline information and maybe even finally seeing Gino, the leader of the Imagined Order. And that is everything you need to know about the live event at the end of the season and everything we know about chapter 3 season 3 so far. If you guys are buying anything from the item shop remember to pop in code MMCS and I've picked out a video up on screen here just for you. I think you'll like it. I'll see you over there.